happy Monday, everyone. Did you notice something different about our greenhouse? This week, we had our annual big clean. We were helped out by the Livermore Rotary Club. We do this once a year to make sure that our greenhouse stays in great shape and can last us a very long time. Look how clean it is. Out in the field, our Brussels sprout plants are continuing to grow. You can start to see that the stalk is getting taller and you can see tiny Brussels sprouts starting to form where the leaves meet the stem. Oh, hey there, Shadow. Our kale plants are still enjoying this cool weather. We've been able to get some really nice harvests from them and the leaves are tender and delicious. In our boxes, our snap peas are reaching for the trellis. They are loving this cold weather too. And I think in a few days they'll reach the trellis. And over in B11, our radishes continue to grow. We have a lot of our seeds germinate and you can start to see that their roots are colorful. And one day, these will grow into the radish that we eat. Look at all that green. When I was walking past E section, I noticed our olive trees have quite a lot of fruit on them. They're getting bigger and they're about olive sized. And some of them are even darkening to look like the olives that we might recognize at the grocery store. This week, Abby and I started pruning our boysenberry plants. It's a really big project, but it's important to do to make sure that next year we'll have a lot of delicious boysenberries on these healthy plants. On each plant, we pick three of the green canes to keep. And on these new vines that grew this year, we will get next year's poisonberries. You can see the little buds here. Next season, that will be fruit. While harvesting beans this week, I found this really cool bean. It got all twisty turny around the leaf. I tried to harvest it, but I ended up breaking it. But it's still pretty cool, huh? It looks like a snake. <laughs> Out in E section, we planted some new transplants, like this fennel that's looking really happy. And this plant called Joy Choy. I just love that name. What's something that gives you joy this week? I would love to hear. Have a great week, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you next week.